Welcome to Bell Atlantic. Welcome to Bell Atlantic. Welcome to Bell Atlantic. To Bell Atlantic. Welcome to Bell Atlantic. When you're about to announce to New Yorkers the biggest new thing in long distance, you want to make sure you get it right. Welcome to Bell Atlantic. Welcome to... Redemption and hope is where it all leads to. You know, I think we're all a little broken inside. 
And I think if we were more honest and vulnerable about where we're broken and how we feel about things, that it could create more conversations to grow and move forward. Born Jason DeFord, Jelly grew up just outside of Nashville in Antioch, Tennessee. He got the nickname Jelly Roll from his mom, who struggled with drugs and depression. She was very reclusive because of the nature of her mental health. And my relationship with music kind of came through her because she'd come downstairs and cook us dinner and play songs. And I would watch my house go from kind of dreary to a nightclub. Like, you know, just like as soon as you can snap your finger. And as a child, I just immediately related to music help people. For me, it was something magical. But just as he took up music himself, Jelly's life took a turn at 14 years old when he served the first of several stints in correctional facilities over the better part of a decade. At 16, he was charged as an adult with aggravated robbery. It took me a long time to forgive myself for what I did back then. But now I have a 16 year old. There's nothing she can do right now that I would hold against her the rest of her life because I know she's not thinking properly. It's funny you mentioned your daughter because it seems like that was the turning point for you. She's born while you're still locked up and something changes in your mind. That's it, man. As soon as she was born, sitting in a jail cell, having $17 of honey buns and potato chips to my name, um, one outfit, the one that was in the jail, here I am responsible for a child. I mean, I was the lowest common denominator in life. You know, I mean, I was scum of the earth. I was a crack dealer. I was a horrible, horrible human. And I was like, I gotta figure this out. Music was the answer. After leaving prison, Jelly built a rap career by selling mixtapes out of his car and eventually performing for live audiences. By 2020, he had achieved just enough success to be happy. At that moment, me and my wife thought we had made it. I mean, we were living in a nice neighborhood. We were selling a couple thousand tickets a weekend. And I dropped a song called Save Me. Somebody save me. Me from myself. Save Me was the beginning of the tide turning. I spent so long living in hell. It was not just a change for you in, in the level of success you started to enjoy, but musically it was a change. Because you were singing. Yeah, the first comment under the YouTube video says, it's me. I comment first, of course, and I'm like, hey guys, I wish I'm paraphrasing, but it's like, hey guys, a little different for me. Let me know if I should put it on the album. There is something poetic about a 39-year-old man winning new artist of the year. Jelly has been on a roll ever since. that sounded more like a sermon for New Artist of the Year at the 2023 CMA Awards went viral. A pair of Grammy nominations came just days later. Forgive me, I'm a little nervous. I'm used to having a rock and roll band behind me when I have a microphone in front of me. In January, Jelly testified on Capitol Hill about the dangers of fentanyl. The singer with a troubled past, now a model for redemption and hope. It started with me just having extreme accountability and going, man, I have made this mess. And then as my heart started getting right and getting more pure, I started feeling the responsibility to go clean it up. Today, in a once unimaginable full circle moment, Jelly is partnering with the very attorney who prosecuted him as a teenager to provide at-risk youth in Tennessee with GED and vocational training. I said, I'm all in. I will hang drywall and cut a check. If you tell me which one you need me to do, it's not both. Yeah, oh, this is Kurt from Antioch to the top of the Big Apple. Not bad, huh? It's been a long road. You build it and then you get to stand and tell people your story. This story about me just writing what I was feeling. And then to see so many people connected to the feelings. And then for the first time in my life, I had something I never had before. It was purpose. Pretty incredible. Jelly Roll's new album, Beautifully Broken, is available this Friday, and you can see him on that relentless tour through November. Our big thanks to the Inc. 48 Hotel in New York for hosting the guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full extended interview with Jelly Roll, including the thrill of having a song sampled by his musical hero, Eminem. You can find that conversation on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours.
next week, Willie's News. Let's see, sit down with the host of The Late Show, Stephen Colbert, on his rise from the world of improv to the top of the late night world, and that new cookbook featuring the tastes of his native Charleston, South Carolina. Stephen Colbert, next week, right here on Sunday Today. Let's turn now and get another quick check of your local Sunday weather. Great Sunday morning, everyone. Meteorologist Clay Anderson. Plenty of sunshine across the national capital region, and the sun will remain for much of the week. Temperatures closing in on the 60 degree mark. Winds are calm. As I said, temperatures from the 40s to 50s. We'll see 60s rising once again into the 70s before this day is done. And what we expect is cooler weather. We'll start to move in by midweek. Some crisp mornings with low temperatures in the 40s. Make sure the kids have their jacket when they get on the bus. Ahead on Sunday today, our highs and lows of the week, including the father of the bride who wouldn't let anything stop him, not even Hurricane Helene. But up next, a nearly three decades long quest for justice and the truth finally coming to a close this week. Everybody ready? May the best words win. That is a nice word. Here's the question. The ozone layer? The bookie. Picasso? It all comes down to this. Woo! Yeah! Well played. Now we have a game. You did it! How does that sound? Darn good. Scrabble and Trivial Pursuit. Game night begins Thursday, October 3rd on The CW. <laughs> see you tomorrow. We love you. We'll see you here on The Family Field. Show until next time. This is Peter Tamarkin on behalf of the Focati Rug saying thanks for pressing your luck. Bye-bye. So anyway, we have just 10 seconds to say goodbye. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. So long. Bye-bye. Yeah. We got we five seconds. Oh, no. We have three, two, one. Bye. Bye.